YouTube, and today it is time for another episode of Dead Tips. All right, today we're going to talk about what to do with drywall dust. I'm getting ready to drill some holes here into some drywall, and as we all know, or maybe you don't, maybe it's your first time, what happens when you go ahead and drill a hole in drywall? It makes dust, and that dust invariably it sprinkles down like snow and it ends up sitting on top of your baseboard gets on your carpet it gets right in the corner where it's tough to vacuum up it's also a pain you just want to hang a picture or something and now all of a sudden you got to get out the vacuum cleaner so there's a couple of different ways you can deal with it um, there's one that i prefer but i'll show you two different ways to deal with the drywall dust okay so the first method involves the trusty old dust buster I don't really like this that much, but it works. You could use a hose on a vacuum cleaner or a dust buster, but basically you want to get it underneath there right as you're getting ready to drill and turn it on, start drilling. All right, so that works, but it's noisy. Not everybody has a dust buster or a hose attachment on a vacuum cleaner, but let me show you. A quick and easy method I love this take yourself a post-it note you put it underneath the hole that you're gonna drill you fold it stick it to the wall you fold it over now all of a sudden you got yourself a little catch can right there it's gonna catch all your your drywall dust any sawdust if you're drilling into studs And it's all getting caught right there. You just fold that up, peel it off the wall, throw it in the trash. I actually prefer this method to the dust buster. They both work, but I just like this better. It's a little more eloquent and it's quiet. Works pretty well. So thanks for tuning in and be sure to subscribe for more episodes of Dad Dibs.